Hello and welcome back to the David67 Celtic News YouTube channel. Video a wee bit later than planned as the uh, uploading of the Celtic press conference was a bit later than usual this afternoon and so I had to delay making the video uh, to after four o'clock on Friday afternoon. Today's video is basically a preview of the uh, game against St Johnston. Uh, game is on Premier Sports Live. Kickoff is at five forty-five, and then Celtic. After that, will be going into their second Champions League match against Borussia Dortmund away on the following Tuesday. Before we crack on with the video, just a wee polite request, encouragement, suggestion: if you are new to the channel and not yet subscribed, please do click that subscriber button. Um, get the numbers pushing further and further past. 1,000 towards 1,050, that would be uh, tremendous. If you do like the video, please do click that like, like button as well. It does help with YouTube analytics, get the video and the channel spread to more and more folk. And comment section open for pleasant, polite, debating points, thoughts, opinions regarding my suggested lineup, how you think Brendan Rodgers is going to manage things tomorrow, and your score prediction, etc. Oh, Celtic go into the game against St Johnston tomorrow um, on brilliant form, top of the table, level on points with Aberdeen, but well ahead on goal difference. Uh, five clean sheets so far in the league. Um, and going in uh, for an away game against St Johnston, a uh, team uh, that we have a good record against and at a venue we have a very good uh, record against and of course uh, last week they sacked their manager Craig Le Levine and they are currently under caretaker management which sometimes can be a bonus for a team more, but much more often is a disruption to them. Now in light of Brendan Rogers press conference it's been confirmed that Cameron Carter Vickers will be out for the game against St Johnston tomorrow. Rogers was a wee bit non-committal as to whether uh, Carter Vickers will or won't be fit for the uh, Champions League game in Dortmund. Oh, I suspect that's going to be a matter of the medical staff and the physios and Rogers and Carter Vickers managing his pain and deciding if a uh, pain-killing injection might get him through the game. Then uh, we'll have a bit of a break for international break and so might give Cart Vickers a couple of weeks uh, to have a proper rest and get his toe fully back uh, to normal. From what Rogers was saying in the press conference today, it doesn't look like uh, there's going to be any need for surgery or a long spell out um, and so uh, appears to be more uh, painful joint at the base of his a big toe rather than anything more serious um, and does appear from what Rogers is saying to be something that's going to settle down in time so that's good news. He also confirmed that Alsa Johnston trained fully all week and will be available for selection and did not highlight any other uh, concerns regarding players fitness etc so it looks like apart from Cameron Carter Vickers will be uh, selecting from a full squad on Saturday against St Mern. I think Brendan Rodgers probably will rest a couple of the starter players for the game against Dortmund but uh, retain the bulk of the uh, expected starting 11 for the, the Dortmund game as starters and then hopefully once we get on top in the game he can then start to take off a few of the expected starters for the Dortmund game and give some of the backup squad players more, <clears throat> more game time which also will help them if they need to come in against Dortmund or need to come in in the future to replace one of our best 11 starters. My predicted 11 for the game against St Johnston tomorrow is going to be 
Kasper Schmeichel in goals, uh, right back Alza Johnston in central defence, Austin Trusty and Liam Scales, Greg Taylor at left back. I would expect us to start with Cal McGregor in the more defensive midfield role with Luke McCowan and Paolo Bernardo in front of him. Then up front, um, Nicholas Kuhn on the right, Tyson Maida on the left, and I think we'll start with Adam Ida through the middle. He is on good goal-scoring form after that uh, two-goal game against Falkirk. He looked like he has pretty much got back to his full match fitness and match sharpness. And I also think that Ida might be a better bet um, for the game against Dortmund, where we're most likely to be a wee bit more defensive and looking to hit Dortmund on the break, in which case the pace out wide of Maida and Kuhn and the holding up play, target man play of Ida will be very useful and then encouraging the midfielders primarily and Arnie Engels to come in and join them in attack. I can see Rio Hatati and Arnie Engels being left on the bench for the game tomorrow, partly to give McCowan and Paolo Bernardo good uh, game experience and um, game time in their legs, also to keep both those players for the Dortmund game, as I think the talent of Engels will be key and the experience of Hatati will be key for the game on uh, Tuesday. And if all goes well, we can then withdraw Cal McGregor after an hour and pop one of the other midfield options on to replace him. Well, that at least is how I see things. Brendan Rodgers was a wee bit vague and evasive in his press conference, um, but reading between the lines, I think he was suggesting that he was going to rest a few and play um, mostly the expected starters and uh, take them off as and when as he can to uh, give the backups some game time and protect those um, starting 11 players for the game on Tuesday. We, uh, of course, played St Johnston three times last season. Uh, first game was at Celtic Park in August 2023, a very disappointing 0-0 draw when their goalkeeper uh, made some miraculous saves and we had some pretty awful misses and the game ended up as a 0-0 draw. Then uh, our next game against them was in December 2023, um, an awful first half, Celtic not really looking like they were competing or um, playing uh, together. However, um, there was a bit of a half-time discussion amongst Rodgers and the players, and they came out um, much more aggressive, much more attacking, much more fluid and cohesive. And we ended up winning that game 3-1 with goals by Callum McGregor in the 67th minute, Matt O'Reilly in the 79th. Both were brilliant, brilliant goals. And then a goal-mouthed goal -mouth goal by uh, um, James Forrest, three minutes into added time. Uh, Joe Hart made a good save uh, in our box. The ball then broke out. Um, Celtic got the ball forward very quickly. And James Forrest came in and finished really nicely to give us, in the end, a comfortable 3-1 win. Although, at points, it did look rather dodgy. And, as I said, Joe Hart did make a good save to keep it at 2-1. And then on the breakout straight after that, we got it to 3-1. And the third and last game of 2024 uh, season was in March 2024. A game, again, we won 3-1. Um, goals by Furahashi in the 40th, Nicholas Kuhn just after half time in the 48th, and James Forrest added the third in the 68th for a nice, comfortable 3 1 win. And that was around the time that started Celtic really started to show good, uh, aggressive, and attacking play. Looked like they were all on the same page as each other and with the manager, and was the start of Celtic's renaissance that led to an excellent run of form uh, to end the season and win us the league and 
FA Cup double. Looking at the stats, the last 10 times Celtic have played St Johnston, we've had nine wins and one draw, that draw being last season. 29 goals for, six against. Um, Celtic haven't lost to St Johnston since May 2016, so over eight years. In that time, we've had 29 games against them with 25 wins, four draws. We have a, a run of... 14 away wins in a row at St Johnson, so clearly a lucky ground for Celtic. And Celtic are on a 14 games in a row uh, win run over the end of last season, running into our five league matches, uh, Champions League match and the two League Cup matches. We've won uh, all eight uh, games this season and had a run of six in a row wins uh, last season and so clearly Celtic on a brilliant uh, winning run and full of confidence playing very well together as a team and I'm expecting Celtic to win comfortably tomorrow I'm going to go for a 5 nothing win don't usually um, predict such a big victory but I think a combination of Celtic being in really good form, St Johnson being in really poor form, uh, I think Celtic are going to have a nice clean sheet, um, even with a new defensive central partnership. Um, and I think a combination of the midfielders, the wide players and our central striker and subs are going to score tons of goals tomorrow. So 5 nothing for me, as usual. Please do pop your comments into the comment section what you reckon regarding the starting lineup. Do you think Rogers will do a bit of more rest and rotation and protection of players? Uh, do you feel Trusty and Scales will be the partnership you'll go for in the middle? And what your thoughts are regarding the final score? No other Celtic news uh, of note at the moment, so we'll finish things off at that point there. Do pop your uh, comments in the comment section, as I was saying. If you are new to the channel and haven't yet subscribed, please do click that subscribe button. It does make me so happy, even with, with one new subscriber. Um, and do, if you like the video, like click that like button, because it does help the channel massively uh, to encourage YouTube to spread the videos and spread the channel further and further. And so until the post-match reaction video after the St. Johnson game. Good luck, Celtic, in tomorrow's game. I'm sure you're going to win. Goodbye and hail, hail.